Hello everybody. Uh, Shane Dawson fucked up. Now, this isn't a video to bash Shane Dawson. This isn't a video to defend him. I'm just giving the facts. I guess maybe giving both sides. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just going to be talking about it because I saw it happening and I didn't want to wait until tomorrow to make a video on it. So, here we go. Shane Shane Dawson is is getting slandered for old videos that he made. And in these in these videos, he's doing some well one he's doing blackface, two he's doing some weird pedo stuff. Oh, whip your hair back and forth. Oh. And he made the really bad decision of making a pedo joke in a video about Willow Smith. Oh. Because, well, little did he know that someday, nine plus years, a decade into the future, um, her brother and mother <laughs> would defend her, would defend her name. So, as you, as you can see here, Jaden Smith said, Shane Dawson, I am disgusted by you. You sexualizing an 11 year old girl who happens to be my sister is the furthest thing from funny and not okay in the slightest, he says in all caps. And just under it, rice gum. Facts, that motherfucker's weird. I'm pretty sure he got slandered un under it, but I mean, rice gum is the last person who should be talking because if I remember one, he was making jokes about a girl getting R-A-P-E-D'd, and he was also on stream with underage girls, not once, but twice, at the very least. We need an age check. How old are you? How old do you think I am? 18. I'm 17. And after he figured out their age, he still remained on stream with them. Could you rate my friend on a scale of 1 to 10? Ivy, can you? I can't even see. I can't see it. Oh. Uh. I don't know. He's not really my type. So what's your type? Like, what skin color? Uh -huh. is Notice he just asked this underage girl what her type is. A grown ass man. And it's not a joke. Huh? Usually, like, Asians or, like, mixed. Alright, man. No, no, and we, and we, and we, and we have a problem here. But do you, could, could we call in October? Now he's asking if he can call in October when she's legal. The pot calling the kettle black, but okay. <laughs> so obviously, rice gum shouldn't be talking. But without that, with that being said, Jaden Smith saying this. I mean, I can understand it, but also at the same time, I. I can't help but feel like maybe it's a little bit of gaslighting. Obviously, it was from a long time ago, but you also do want to defend your sister. Perhaps he's just now seeing this, and I'm sure he he probably is just now seeing this. You know, so it, it is weird, but it it's one of those situations where it's like, how do you really how do you handle that? Because it's your sister, but also it was from a long ass time ago, and this guy could have changed. Now, this isn't the only thing that he said. Because he also said in a tweet following this, this man was also doing blackface on the regular. As the youth, we need to support creators who support us in our morals. This is not okay. First of all, you're not the youth. You're a grown-ass man, Jaden Smith. To me, I mean, look, you calling yourself the youth makes me think that you still think you're a kid. And you, you see what they did with Michael Jackson with that one. Obviously, Jaden Smith... I feel this definitely is a little bit of gaslighting. Perhaps it isn't. Perhaps I'm using the word wrong. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, bringing up the blackface part of his past, I don't think that is particularly fair. Um, obviously, it was from a different time where people found different things funny, where people were able to get away with different things. It doesn't mean particularly that he is a racist, especially when the guy did apologize for it but I'll address that in a little bit. Now, for this portion where the mother, Jada, had something to say, she said to Shane Dawson, dot, 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 I'm done with the excuses. That's pretty much all she had to say. Will Smith said nothing about it, and neither did Willow, but I'd imagine they both have seen it. Um, 
I mean, there's nothing I could really say about it. I mean, look, she said she's done with the excuses. Now, Shane Dawson, um, he made a tweet, and he also made a video. And in the tweet, he says, I deleted everything. I'm done. For those who wanted to, who wanted me to, quote unquote, address it, I did. He's referring to in the past when he did address it. I'm sure you can find it reposted somewhere. But I don't want this energy in my life or on my timeline. I'm too sensitive for this shit, and I'm done. Now, Shane Dawson then makes a video. Uh, I don't know if it was a follow-up to the tweet or whatever, but he makes a video. And in the video, he says some things. And one of the things that, that catches, that caught my eye at the very least, that I think is very interesting is the fact that he seems to be having the white guilt moment. I, like, I can, I can see it. I can see it. It's not so glaring. It's not so obvious. But I don't think that Shane Dawson is a racist. I don't think that he's a bad person. I think he did stupid stuff. He made bad jokes. And he said, you know, he was criticizing his former self for the excuses that he was making. My excuse, oh, I was I was just being funny. I, I love black people. I'm not racist. I was trying to be funny. But obviously these excuses are ones that are kind of used as cliches for the, how do you put it, the ignorant white people who make edgy racist jokes, who try to justify it. Uh, sorry, my, uh, my phone ran out of storage. But basically, it's usually used as, what it would, how do you put it, the cliche for the edgy white people, the ignorant, the ignorant white people that like to make edgy jokes and try to say, hey, I'm not racist, but, uh, I love black people, I have a black friend, you know, that type of stuff. It's usually used as, as that. Um, and in that, I feel that with his explanation and the way that he was saying, oh, I'm so dumb, da, 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 I feel like there was white guilt in that and that with the way that he was mocking himself. I was, I was just being funny. I, I love black people. I'm not racist. I was trying to be funny. Finn putting himself down, it sound like an SJW or something referring to some white person who's like, oh, I'm not racist. I have, you know, that's the vibe that I got. So perhaps there's this white guilt thing going on with him. I don't know. I didn't really watch the video past the blackface part because I saw what was going to be going on. And... I, I, nobody liked the apology, you know, no, nobody forgave him for it, you know, nobody was happy with it, so there was really nothing else to take from it, I mean, I didn't want to waste my 20 minutes, I knew what it was going to be, and I knew it was just going to be him trying to apologize the proper way because he was so immature in the past and he didn't, you know, he, he, he didn't recognize who he was back then, so I didn't really, I don't know what else he said, but what I do know is that He's being alleged of being a pedophile for, I mean, for making some videos. And I'll show the videos right here. Natural for a girl at your age. <laughs> yeah. So we want to talk to you. We want to explain what sex so is. Quiet. We did get really yeah. quiet. I want to oh. 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 In a video, he is telling an underage girl basically about sex he's going to be telling about sex i didn't want to include the full thing for obvious reasons but also i mean you can get the gist of it if you want to look it up you can find it if you want to but yeah there's there's that video and then you have the one with willow smith obviously um a lot of people are unhappy with him and i would say to that a lot of people are going to automatically jump to the yeah, he's making these jokes because that's actually how he is. And he's he's actually a pedophile. A lot of people will probably jump to that. Because that's the only thing I can really think of. Obviously, the guy was trying to be funny. He wasn't. It was a long time ago. So if you're thinking of it from a mentality of, it was a bad joke. It was from a long time ago. And it was a bad joke. He apologized for it. You know, what else? what else is there left really to happen? If you're thinking of it from that perspective, that's the rational perspective then you're not going to be mad at it. But for the people that are still mad, you'd probably think the guy was actually a pedo and that's sort of him showing hints and signs of it and he's showing it through humor. 
I'm guessing. And perhaps you guys are right, but also you're taking it to a real far stretch of conspiracy levels. And to write to to write off this guy as this horrible thing because of some conspiracy. I mean, because of some bad jokes that he made in the past. I don't think that that is fair. But also at the same time, the guy did put it out as a horror. It was a bad joke. So it's like, what what, what can you say? I mean, there, there's not much to really say there, you know, because. We don't have any allegations of Shane Dawson um, messing with underage girls or messing with underage boys or anything like that. Because I don't know if the guy is gay or straight. Maybe he's metrosexual. Maybe he's just what's that? What's the one that's really that confuses everyone and they don't know? Um, queer, queer. Maybe he's queer. I don't know. I don't know what the guy is. Uh, bisexual. I, look, he is what he is. But yeah, this is this is obviously he's in a pickle, and. He's made some mistakes. This is the same thing, though, that's been happening. We, we're on a... People are bored. They don't know what to do. We're, we're starting to get out of quarantine a little bit, but still, they, they... All this started... All this is even worse now because people have time. They're in quarantine. And it's a trend of people going back to people's past and them canceling them. This initially started because he, along with the Jenna Marbles uh, woman, had did blackface. And then they kept digging and they kept finding other things to decide to cancel him with because they're like, maybe the blackface won't be strong enough because they could find an excuse. And boom, there you go. So people are really trying to cancel Shane Dawson. I don't think he should be canceled. I think he made mistakes in his past. I think he said some stupid shit. And just like with Jenna Marbles, you grow from it. We don't know if the guy's actually a fucking pedo and there's nothing, there, you can do all the speculation in the world. But you, you could spec. I could speculate on Barack Obama based off some conspiracies, and I could say that nigga's in some shit, okay? Because those Hillary Clinton emails being leaked. But anyways, we're not gonna get into that because I don't. I don't make conspiracy videos. I might. You know, you never know. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. Leave, uh, leave a subscription. Uh, leave a comment. Say what you say. How you feel. Say what you think. And um. Do you think he's guilty? Do you think he that do you think he deserves to be canceled? You know. Uh, obviously people are saying because Will Smith, well not because Will Smith, because Jada and Jaden had commented and said what they said, you shouldn't try to justify or defend him because they are they are mad about it. And that doesn't really make any fucking sense because just because certain people are mad about it doesn't mean that that should depict your opinion. But Look, <laughs> I'm towards the end of the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you want, uh, comment, talk, interact, share the video, please, if you enjoy it, please share, and uh, yeah, have a good day.